Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abir and welcome to my another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to calculate NDSM or normalized difference surface model. And uh, in this video, I am going to use LiDAR data sets. And one of the most confusing thing is we, ca we can't directly use um, LAS files or LiDAR point cloud data in ArcMap. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download LiDAR data and how to generate DEM or digital elevation model from LiDAR point cloud data sets and also uh, DSM digital surface uh, model from LiDAR, LiDAR uh, point clouds and in last I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, NDSM or normalized difference surface model. So to download LiDAR data, LiDAR means the light detection and ranging. Go to so in this site, uh, click here data and go to find data map. So we are going to download a LiDAR data sets from here. And just for example, I, am, uh, I will download a very little uh, portion of this map. click here select region and uh, select this field here and we are going to download the point cloud data here you can see the uh, selection area contains uh, uh, this amount of points and uh, let's uncheck this because uh, we are going to calculate uh, the uh, uh, elevation model by ourselves so we don't need it here and you have to select a job title here and let's select as name Kajal Mukhadir and creating in the SM and after you're submitting just wait a few seconds and you can download it from here and you can see the, the, file, uh, the file I am going to download is about 167.5 megabyte. Okay, so click here to download this. Let's select a uh, folder where you want to download your data and click open to download this. So you can see here in my folder I have a uh, for file. Uh, yes point dot LAS the extension is dot LAS so uh, let's open our art map and if you want to add uh, our file from here you can see here is uh, no file here uh, so we can't add this uh, lighter data or LAS file from here so what we have to do is go to our catalog and uh, I want to uh, create a new folder here LiDAR the point cloud and right click here and uh, go to new and uh, go to create a new LAS data set and the file extension will be LASD and right click here and go to properties so we have to add our uh, .LAS file here so go to LAS files and click here add files navigate to that folder and click here and click open so that your file will be added here and you can see the statistics you have to click calculate and you can see your data here so up in this box it shows the number of counts that fall into uh, different categories and this file here so to most effectively work, uh, work with the uh, data set you want to add a toolbar here called last data set and you can also symbolize uh, the point uh, with 
uh, easily by this class or uh, by a class or return so uh, in here the a profile view is to develop a, a deeper understanding of your lidar find cloud data so then you have to draw a line click and uh, define a rectangle and this will open up the profile view window the profile view allows you to view your uh, lighter point cloud data on a horizontal plane okay so you can see in this profile i have located some trees here okay so now we are going to create a digital elevation model from our point cloud data so to do that uh, go to our toolbox and first we have to create a uh, we have to make a last data set layer so go to data management uh, tools and under layers and table views click here make ls uh, data set layer and input your lidar data set here and now we are going to rename it as ground and now we are going to uh, make some selections uh, and we are going to select the class codes and uh, we are going to choose uh, in class 2 which we, uh, which if you recall corresponds to the ground returns and i'm going to keep all the return values and simply keep, uh, click ok so you can see a new layer file has added in my layers and uh, this file only uh, these are the points only corresponding to the ground returns and to create digital elevation model from this uh, cloud at uh, this point data we're going to use a conversion tool uh, from uh, to, uh, conversion tools and uh, to raster it is data to rust okay, but first uh, we have to go to geoprocessing and go to environments uh, to select uh, under workspace click here and uh, let us find cloud let's create a new geo database click ok so uh, we're going to open this LAS dataset to raster and input LAS dataset as a ground dataset and we're going to rename it as the our digital elevation model and I'm going to choose interpolation type as a triangulation and I'm going to choose the interpolation method as a natural neighborhood uh, I think uh, this is work best and uh, click uh, cell size i'm going to sampling value as one select and click ok uh, and so now we're going to create hill shade uh, data from our raster and the hill shade uh, will help us to visualize it much better uh, go to raster surface and uh, click here hill shade and input raster as gen and our code raster will be dm1 and uh, click ok and so now right click here and go to properties and go to symbology and we have to select uh, let's select a color one for this and this will uh, help to visualize our data much better and now we are going to create a new uh, LS data sets layers using only the first uh, first returns. So, data management tool layer center views make LS data sets and input LS data sets. We need to set as First returns and click OK. So once we have our first returns, we're going to our toolbox and conversion tools, and we're going to uh, convert last data sets to last uh, raster and input last data set as first returns. And we're going to rename it as 
DSM as a digital surface model. And click OK. And so again, we're going to our toolbox and go to. Uh, we're going to use Hillshed uh, for visualization. Uh, raster surface Hillshed. Input raster as DSM. Hillshed DSM. And click OK. So once we have uh, our DSM and DEM surface model, and it is easy to um, generate the NDS and or non polarized digital uh, surface model. Uh, go to Arc Toolbox. So go to special analyst tools and go to map algebra raster calculator and here we are going to enter a simple expression here uh, and to and uh, we will take a dsm and subtract the dem and the end product uh, will be as our ndsm click ok as just we did it with our other data sets uh, just right click here and go to properties and we are going to select a color ramp for this raster file here and uh, this is our numerous digital surface model ok thank you for watching this video and if you are watching my video for the very first time please uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you